So you found yourself in your color page and you finished your grade and you're now looking to export it as a LUT to use in the future. You might want to send it to somebody or you might want to sell it as part of a LUT package. Now to export the LUT, it is very simple. All you need to do is to come down to the clip that you've graded and you want to export the LUT from and you want to right click. Now if you navigate to where it says generate LUT, you'll be faced with these options, 17 point cube, 33 point cube or 65 point cube. What you want to choose is 33 point cube. These are just different resolutions. 17 is the lowest, 65 is the highest and 33 is in the middle. It's more widely accepted and it's just the best, the best option to use to export your LUT as. So if you click on 33 point cube, you want to rename. I'm just going to rename it as new LUT, save it to the desktop. And that is how easy it is to export the LUT. So to bring it back into DaVinci now, what we want to do is come down to the cog in the bottom right hand corner, open up the color management settings on the left, and you want to come down to where it says lookup tables. Now, if you open your LUT folder, what I normally do is just open a new finder window. So you've got both open. You've got your LUT folder open, which is where your DaVinci LUTs are, and then you're searching for your new LUT. Now, if I come to my desktop, here it says new LUT. Now, you've saved it as new LUT, but it has got some govins after. So what I normally do is just rename it. I normally just delete these until it's the name that I named it, which is new LUT. Now, if you drag and drop that in, it's as easy as that. Now, if you close the two windows, come back to DaVinci, click on Update Lists, click on Save. Now, if you come to the LUTs drop-down menu on the left-hand side, if you scroll down now, what you should see when I get there eventually is your new LUT. So if I come back to my edit page quickly, if I copy and paste this clip, come back to my color page, click on the new clip. If I reset all nodes and grades, that will that bring us back to where we started with the log footage. Now, if I apply this LUT, what you'll see is that LUT is now applied. And what I'll also show you, if I zoom in a little bit and I show you, if I toggle now between these two video clips, what you'll see is they're exactly the same. And that is exported and imported the LUT in DaVinci. Hopefully this has been some help and I'll see you in the next one.